Walker. Hi, Kara. How are you today? Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? It's nice I'm to meet good. you. Nice to meet you. Greetings from Toronto. So did you ah, have fun in the city? I, fun? I love Toronto. I love, 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 love Toronto. It's one of my favorite places I've ever been. I cannot stop talking about the ketchup chips. It's kind <laughs> of the best. It, the best thing ever. I'm still requesting to this day that my friends from Canada will ship me a box of ketchup chips. It hasn't happened yet. I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest. Okay, I will be your new best friend. And, <laughs> and just off topic here, spicy ketchup t- chips. Have you tried those? No. This is my new favorite. What? Yes. Things are happening over in Toronto when I'm missing them. This isn't fair. I need to come back. All right. You do need to come back. Well, we okay. need to talk about this movie. You okay. are so fabulous in this, Kira. Thank and I so don't much. envy one second of what you had to go through only because Ani is such a daunting and heartbreaking role. What was it like for you to take this on? And how did you get into that mindset to play her so well? Ah, well, thank you. First off, um, It was honestly just an honor. I mean, I'm so grateful to be able to be a part of this film and to be a part of Ani's journey. And I think there was a lot that went into getting into her mindset and kind of how we wanted to tell this character. There was a lot of conversations with me and Jessica Knoll and Mila and Mike and kind of everyone involved. And honestly, it was, um, you know, such a wonderful and collaborative experience and being able to work with, you know, Netflix and made up stories and picture star, everyone involved, honestly, you know, there was such a vision for how we wanted Ani and this story to be portrayed. And hopefully it was, you know, bringing to light some really dark subject matter that isn't really talked about as much. And I think that that was a really important part of telling this story for us. Absolutely. I mean, what she goes through is is traumatizing beyond belief. There's no question about it. Yeah. And I wanted to know about your collaboration mm-hmm. with Mila, who, of course, plays Ani as the older woman. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about bonding with her and how you guys coordinated, you know, even just anything down to a, a specific move or look or something like that to make I mean, it look. There was so much. I honestly was super lucky. Mila was willing to kind of sit down with me and talk with me and Zoom with me and text and talk on the phone and kind of do all the stuff to be able to get into Ani and, you know, break down this character. And kind of beforehand, we talked about mannerisms and I did vocal coaching. And, you know, Mila has such a specific and distinct voice as well and hoping to kind of match that. I mean, there's definitely a huge differentiation between Tiffany and Ani. And I think, you know, an important part of the story is you know, the transformation of the character and how she's changed so much as she's gotten older and, you know, the impact that the trauma had on her. That being said, there's obviously some natural through lines when, Mm -hmm. you know, you're a person and you grow up and, you know, there's, you know, some things that stay there for sure. You got to find our little uh, breadcrumbs. Absolutely. Now, you know, I I had read the book and I, listen, as we say, it deals with some very, very difficult uh, subjects, you know, school shootings, you know, sexual abuse, all these things, you as a young actress and with so many fans as a role model, what are you hoping that the film will generate? And maybe if a fan comes to you and expresses some kind of, you know, I went through that, you know, what what does that mean to you as as being somebody in your position? I mean, it's honestly an honor. I don't think that I'm a role model. I think that, you know, the girls out there, every single woman who's dealt with this and struggled with something like this, they're the role models. They're the people that we should be looking up to. And I think that honestly, I'm just grateful, truly grateful that I was able to just tell a little bit of a story, a story that so many people out there are struggling with today. And I think that, you know, we should be inspired by Ani's strength and her perseverance and you know it hopefully shows that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and there is a way out and she does get through this and you know it also shows that trauma can make a huge impact on your life and just because you're not in the moment anymore doesn't mean it just goes away and I think that maybe that'll you know teach people to be more you know sensitive and compassionate. 100%. 100%. Just quickly, just to wrap it up, you know, you've given us such great roles and you're such a young girl. You've got a million more coming. But what jazzes you when you get a script? Like what excites you? What do you look for? Oh, I mean, that's so hard. I think something different, something new, something I haven't done before, something that impacts me, something that makes me scared or confused or excited. I think that, you know, I would love to do something light. I would also love to do something dark that tells an amazing story. I think that you know, as long as I'm able to read something and look at a character and feel like it's multidimensional and there's layers and complexities to it, I think that kind of all of those little moments, you know, can make you so excited to go to set and, you know, yeah. become a new person. 
So, yeah. yeah. Well, you've done such a wonderful job in this. Really kudos Thank to you because it was so not an easy one. And I am going to talk to Netflix Canada to get you that box of spicy ketchup chips. Okay, my dear? Please do that. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going to get that. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. So nice okay. to meet you.